Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another video. Now, the topic of today's video is sort of speculation, theories, confusion. Doctor Who Twitter at the moment is sort of going a bit haywire because it appears that the 14th Doctor has definitely been cast and people know who it is. Before we fully jump into the video, I do want to just say I am working on another video talking about potential Doctor Who spin-off series, which should be out either tomorrow or Saturday. But I thought tonight I'd just make this quick video, not put too much editing into it, because I, I just want to share this news and get your guys' thoughts on what's happening. So, Tina Miller is a famous British actor. She's been in Doctor Who, you probably recognise her from the god-awful episode Hell Bent. Dear Lord, how do you cope with all that ego? She played the Time Lord General, and yeah, she did well in the role. If you've seen Years and Years, another drama written by Russell T Davies, she is absolutely phenomenal in that. And I remember watching that, and I've mentioned it in a video before, she would be a really good candidate to play the next Doctor. Now, why is this sort of being brought up now? Like, where's all this speculation coming from? Ever since the beginning of this month, it's been heavily rumoured that Jodie Whittaker is moving on from the show at the end of this series. This would fit in with the, like, sort of three-season pattern that every New Who Doctor, apart from Christopher Eccleston, has had. I say New Who, it even dates back to Classic Who. Patrick Troughton used to say, you do three years and then leave. So it is incredibly likely that Jodie is on her way out. <laughs> especially with the BBC refusing to give, like, a statement on the topic. People are asking the BBC, is Whitaker leaving? And they're just going, no comment, no comment. That's kind of sus. And we know that Tina Miller works well with the BBC. I mean, she's literally been in Doctor Who before. In a way, she'd be mirroring Colin Baker in that she plays a Time Lord who tries to hunt down the Doctor and then proceeds to play the Doctor. And obviously, people always say, oh, but she can't come back to Doctor Who because she's already played a character in Doctor Who. As I just said, so had Colin Baker, so had Peter Capaldi, so had, like, Karen Gillan as Amy Pond. Like, it, it happens all the time. Especially as Tina Miller, it, it just would work. Like, her acting, her personality, the look as well. She could play a really good Doctor. Now the question is, is it actually going to be her as the next Doctor? Probably not. But she does actually know who the 14th Doctor is. Now, that, that seems really strange and random. Like, how does this British actress, if she's not playing the Doctor, how does she know who the 14th Doctor's gonna be? Like... Are they close friends, perhaps? Now, before we get into all that speculation, how do we know that Tina Miller knows who the next Doctor is? Well, she said it herself. So, I've just gone to put the clip of Tina Miller in my video, and the tweet's been deleted. So, I'm just going to sort of describe what I remember from the video. She basically was laughing. She went, um, I'm not the Doctor, but she, oh, I shouldn't have said she, they are a really good actor who's going to do a really good job. And she was just like laughing like that. Now, if I can somehow recover this clip, I'm going to put it in the description. Does this add more credibility that the clip's disappeared? Like, is that the BBC not wanting it? Or maybe it's down for a completely separate reason and we'll respect that, whatever the reason is. But the, the, the original tweet's been deleted. <laughs> Update, update. While the original tweet is still deleted, thanks to the wonderful WhoTuber, who I'll put a link to in the bio, we have other footage of Tina Miller admitting that she knows who the next Doctor is. So I'm going to play that on screen. Go and subscribe to Nerd Den and watch his video on the topic. The new Doctor is sensational. They are going to blow you away. So I would have very, very big boots to fill. That video is taken from a cameo. Cameo is the website where you can ask celebrities like, hey, answer my question or send me a video of whatever. And someone asked Tina Miller, are you playing the 14th Doctor? She sent back that clip. That clip heavily implies that she does know who the next Doctor is. Now, yes, at, like initially, because that clip's like three days old now. Initially, everyone, including myself, was just sort of like, 
yeah, she's joking around, isn't she? Like, she's trying to make light of the rumour, she's not going to be the next Doctor, and she doesn't actually know who the next Doctor is. But then, in the subsequent days, she hasn't gone back on her statement, she's reinforced it. As you can see on screen now, she's put out, like, multiple other messages on Cameo, saying that she knows who the next Doctor is. Now, this does make me wonder, are we gonna see Joe Martin be the 14th Doctor? We know she's the Fugitive Doctor, we know Joe would be more than up for playing the role full-time, and we also know that Tina Miller has worked with Joe Martin in the past, so it's not without, like, it's not within, no, it is within the realms of possibility that Joe Martin would tell Tina Miller, heads up, I'm the next Doctor. Or maybe Tina Miller is the next Doctor, and she's sort of joking around, trying not to reveal that it's her, so she's saying, oh, I know who it is because she's so excited. Maybe? I do think it is incredibly likely that either Tina or Joe Martin are going to be revealed as the 14th Doctor. However, because of the reluctance of the BBC to put out statements on this or to dismiss the rumours, I think they're trying to keep it a secret. Like, Chibnall, his who is all about, like, big shock. Oh my god, Captain Jack's back. Oh my god, there's, like, all this timeless child Doctor stuff. Oh my god, there's the Ruth Doctor. Oh my god, it's the Master. Like, all of this, it's all, like, shock. Chibnall always aims for a shock, so it's only natural to assume that in this shocking era, not like quality-wise, that's shocking, like, oh my gosh, mind blown, in that sort of era, I do think Chibnall's mad enough to try and do a regeneration that's completely unexpected. The closest thing we've had to that was Stolen Earth and Journey's End back in 2008, and the media attention that got, the entire country was on the edge of their seat for the whole week, waiting to see if David Tennant would leave the series or would stay on. And Doctor Who needs its viewing figures going back up, so I do think we are going to be in for a surprise regeneration. It's not that much of a surprise now, because people are leaking it. So I would just hope that no more leaks get out. And I, do, I really, I just don't know what to make of it. Anyway, while we're on the topic of leaks, I thought I'd tell you about some leaked filming footage and pictures from Doctor Who Series 13. Now, I've made multiple videos on the fact that we now know the Weeping Angels are definitely coming back for the next series, but thank you to Robert K for sending me these images that he took while out on a walk with his dad the other night of Weeping Angels surrounding a manor house. Now, you can see on screen screenshots from mine and Robert's conversation. He was saying how there's 70s or 80s or 60s style cars outside of this house. And also, when you link that back to the other filming images of Weeping Angels we've seen, it's incredibly likely that this story is either going to be set in the 70s or 80s, or alternatively, the characters get sent back to the 70s or 80s. I, for one, am massively looking forward to this episode. I think from these images we can also see multiple Weeping Angels, unless I'm mistaken. It's kind of blurry. <laughs> I think it's looking likely that this Weeping Angel episode is going to be a two-parter, and with the rumours of Jodie's departure, could this even be her climactic final story? Because we've seen the Weeping Angels in a lot of outdoor locations now, which suggests to me it's more than just one little story. However, I could be wrong in thinking that maybe it is just one story with lots of locations, because the Chibnall era does love, like, location hopping everywhere, even just random across the globe for no reason, but I, I mean, I don't mind it, it's fun. As I said, thank you to Robert K for sending in those videos, his links are in the description. Go over to his Instagram if you want to see more footage and pictures from that night. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of the possibility of Tina Miller being the Doctor, tell me what you think about these new images, do you, is, like, is there anything I've missed within these images? We've got the 70s and 80s cars, which pretty much confirms the new time setting. I don't know. Let me know. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Don't forget to click below. Subscribe to the Confused Addy Pose.